A question that I get asked often about the infinite color panel is how do I save the layers that the panel generates? Maybe you've created something that you really liked and you want to apply to other images. Maybe it's something that you want to save for later for reference purposes that you can have easily access to. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. In this example, we're using an image by Zach Rubin that I think is beautiful because I quickly just created a quick color grade and I want to save this and apply it to another image that Zach also shot. Again, if you're new to Infinite Color Panel, just go to infinitecolorpanel.com where you can learn more about how to use a panel, tutorials, and see examples of people's work. Now, with that in mind, let's say that I've generated this look that I think is beautiful and I really like it. It's filmic, it has nice soft shadows and blue shadows, and it's something that I like, <laughs> okay? Plain and simple. Now, we'll go to a window. We'll go to libraries. Now, in the libraries itself, you'll see that I have a few different looks that I've come up with and saved as a quote unquote graphic. Now, all you need to know about that is a graphic is where you're going to be storing your specific looks. The way to do that, it's actually quite simple. When you have your layer palette open with your libraries, we'll go ahead and rename this. Maybe we'll just call this Zach Rubin. Next, we'll simply drag and add Zach's layer palette to the graphics tab. Now, what this means is if I have another image, let's say this one that I want to apply it to, all I need to do is right click and place layers. And there we go. We have our exact look applied to the other image in the series. Now, the best part about this is the fact that it saves it. Another way to do it is if you don't want to actually right click and place layers, you can hold Alt or Option, then click on Zach Rubin, and then drag it over onto the file itself, and then it loads it as well. You have to be sure that you actually select and hold Alt or Option before you do that, because if you don't, what happens is it comes up with this linked layer that doesn't really do anything and I recommend just not touching it because it comes up as a smart object and it opens the layers in a completely different document and it doesn't give you the intended results that you want. So plain and simple, delete that. You can right click, place layers, or you can click on Zach Rubin itself and drag it over to the actual layer by holding Alt or Option and then dragging it. And suddenly you have two ways of doing so. Another method of doing it is simply saving your PSD file with all your layers and then using it as reference later. But this way it's a lot easier. Well, I hope this helped. And as I mentioned before, if you have any questions about saving your layers using the library tab or any other things like that, visit our website or join our Facebook group at infinitecolorpanel.com. And the last thing to keep in mind is that this will only work in Creative Cloud because it does need the cloud to actually access the libraries as well as a working internet connection so that you can access the cloud to save and store them.